Hello, this is Unit 7, Grain, Kiev. Kiev is the capital of our country. It's a very beautiful city. And there are many sites in Kiev. And we'll talk about Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. We'll read about different places to visit in Kiev. And we start with the words. Exercise 1. Listen and repeat. A museum, a museum, the museum of zoology, the museum of zoology. A theater, a theater, the national opera, the national opera. A cinema, a cinema, a square, a square. And tell what, what you can see in these places. Що ви можете побачити в цих місцях? For example, there are many museums in Kiev. My favorite place to go is the Museum of Zoology. I can see lots of animals there. Continue. Продовжіть. Розкажіть, що ви можете побачити в цих місцях. Next, we will read and complete the text with the sentences about Kiev. The text about Kiev. Спочатку подивимося на самі речення, які ми треба буде заповнити пропуски. The chestnut tree is a symbol of Kiev. Слово chestnut запишіть словники. Chestnut tree. Каштан. The chestnut tree is a symbol, symbol of Kiev. Many buses, many buses, trolley buses, trams and cars carry passengers around the city. Випишіть слово carry. Перевозять, переносять. Carry. Перевозять пасажирів по місту. Kiev is located on the picturesque banks of the Dnipro River. Kiev is located, розташований, on the picturesque banks of the Dnipro River. Випишіть слова is located, розташований, picturesque, picturesque, живописний. Kiev is located on the picturesque banks of the Dnipro River. They are very popular with tourists. They are very popular with tourists. And now we go back to the text. Повертаємося до тексту. Не забудьте заповнювати пропуски. The capital of Ukraine is Kiev. It is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. More than 3 million people live there. The streets of Kiev are beautiful. They are lined with chestnut trees, lime trees and poplars. Kiev is the political, economic, scientific, industrial and cultural center of Ukraine. It has a lot of museums, art galleries, concert halls, theaters and cinemas. Kiev is also famous for its attractive parks. The city has a well-developed transport system. There is also an underground, a railway station, an airport, and a river port. Випишіть незнайомі слова звідси, рекомендую наступні. Lime, trees, липи, poplars, тополі, scientific, науковий, industrial, промисловий, Attractive – привабливий. Well-developed – гарно розвинений.
read the text once more, прочитайте текст ще раз. Правильні відповіді були one, see, two, a, three, d, and four, b. Okay, learn the words, вивчіть, будь ласка, слова. And let's answer the question. So, where is Kiev? Where is Kiev? Kiev is located on the picturesque banks of the Dnipro River. You're right. How many people live in the capital city? You answer. You're right. More than three million people live there. Are the streets of Kiev wide or narrow? What are they lined with? Pasha Vipovit. Well done. The streets are wide. They are lined with chestnut trees, lime trees and poplars. What sights can people see in Kiev? Спробуйте відповісти самостійно. Does Kiev have a well-developed transport system or not? Yes, the city has a well-developed transport system. How can you travel around the city? You are right. You can travel by an underground, by a railway station, and by airplanes, and by boat or ship. And now let's practice reading and translating. Anne and Kim. Let's read. Hi, Kim. I haven't seen you for ages. How are you? Hi, Anne. I'm fine. And what about you? Just fine. Where are you going? To the theater. Will you come with me? The performance starts at one o'clock. Oh, I'd love to. But I'm afraid I can't. I haven't seen my granny for about a month. We are going to visit her today. Bye, then. Say hi to your granny for me. See you on Monday. Bye-bye, Kim. Have fun. Я думаю, ви зрозуміли, що фраза I haven't seen you for ages означає Я тебе дуже давно не бачила. А куди ще до Кім? Where are you going? питає Енн. She's going to the theater. Вона йде до театру. Коли починається вистава? The performance starts at one o'clock. Кім питає Енн, will you come with me? Ти зі мною підеш? Але Енн відмовляється. Вона каже, I'd love to, я би дуже хотіла, but I'm afraid I can't. Але боюсь, що ні. I haven't seen my granny for about a month. We are going to visit her today. Вони відвідують сьогодні бабусю, яку не бачили місяць. Кім тоді каже, що say hi to your granny for me. Передавай привіт, передавай вітання твоїй бабусі. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Have fun. Розважайся. І так, ще раз цей текст, будь ласка, прочитати. Незнайомі слова виписати в словнички. Вивчити. Bye.